feel it now. It's all around me. A silent voice I can't deny. A mother's question what is the greatest tapasya the power of which can transform the world what is the greatest tapasya the power of which can transform the world the answer is to belong to the one father and none other is the greatest tapasya Those who remain stable in such a stage are great tapasvis. The power of tapasya is remembered as the greatest power. Those who maintain the tapasya of belonging to the one father and none other have a lot of power. The power of this tapasya transforms the world. Hatha yogis do tapasya while standing on one leg however you children don't stand on one leg but you maintain the awareness of one you belong to only one such tapasya will transform the world therefore become such world benefactors that is become great tapasvis what is the meaning of the word tapasya tap means what is tap tap means heat fire warmth so to do tapasya means to generate fire and this fire is needed to destroy the bridge between soul and body there has occurred an identification of soul and body so fire is created and what this fire does is to burn this bridge and we realize how this is different from this all the identifications which have occurred for the worldly people the truth is i am body for the spiritual people i am soul so when i say i am body 
everything that happens to body is my experience my truth and i suffer because of identification but when i say i'm soul i am entering into a different energy field soul is an energy a bio energy and to experience one self as energy is the goal i am not this gross thing but a very subtle energy so spirituality is a journey from body to soul from gross to the subtle from object to spirit so i realize my existence as an energy i live at the plane of energy and not at the plane of body and the moment i am energy i become vast so long as i am in the body i am limited my existence is limited but the moment i get rid of this illusion of being a body i start becoming vast hindu scriptures describe different type of bodies and the bodies are as if different layers the grossest is known as annamai kosh this stool this physical body inside this annamai kosh there is electric body subtle body bioplasmic body pranamai kosh so this subtle body is an energy there are so many others also inside anandamai kosh and so on but this thing has always been there that beyond this gross reality there is something hidden something very deep something which is invisible something which is subtle and the entire spirituality is the journey to search that subtle and to reach this people have adopted so many different methods and one of the methods is hatha yoga they begin with rules regulations yama then enter into niyamas and they practice different postures asanas and once you master asanas they master breath pranayama and once you have mastered the prana the breath then you enter into dhyan then dharana pratyahar here then dhyan dharana and samadhi so they are known as ashtanga yoga or seven limbs of yoga now here the goal is to achieve the highest stage the stage of ecstasy samadhi but many times the goal is lost and people make these things which are happening in between as the goal definitely if you practice different yoga asanas and pranayama you will become healthy but then the entire process was not just to become physically healthy but to a break that identification of mind of body and soul so baba is saying here in the world they do tapasya what they do they stand on one leg but the process of standing on one leg is itself a very stressful job 
strain and strain cannot be the goal relaxation is the goal and here is where they are lost there are many hot yogis where the goal is strain stress while the goal should be relaxation okay even if i do some straining exercises but they should be followed by relaxation so relaxation is the goal for example just do like this clench the fist very tightly do it very tightly put all the energy to press it do it very very tightly the maximum you can do do it put all the energy all the force as much as you can and now relax now see what happens relax now this is the goal relaxation after deeper activity relaxation should come but if i make this clenching itself as a goal it will become an hatha yoga only so this cannot be the goal but the goal is the deeper you put the more energy you put the more you strain the deeper will be relaxation so the aim is relaxation so baba says they stand on one leg but they keep on standing on one leg the whole day so the goal itself is not relaxation so there is where it's where they are lost so what is needed is deep sense of relaxation and the deepest relaxation that is possible for the soul is to get lost in the love of the beloved and that is real tapasya that's why baba says to belong to one father is the real tapasya because that is the phase of deepest relaxation that is possible so yoga should not become a stressful job yoga should not become an activity a duty a responsibility but yoga should be playfulness tapasya should be a celebration a dance a song as we were discussing yesterday So this is again tapasya is a celebration a dance a song tapasya is the state of enjoyment tapasya is the state of deep relaxation and this is possible only with a very powerful weapon of love if i use force as a weapon then i will become an hatha yogi somebody can sit like this in the cross legged posture for 3 hours with his back straight but you never know what is happening within the mind the mind is full of stress so is this an yoga then no yoga is playfulness yoga is feasting rejoicing enjoyment and the deepest possible enjoyment is possible is there when you are lost in the love so love is the state of getting lost so baba is asking the question which is the greatest tapasya and the greatest tapasya is just to belong to one father so when i belong to him i think of him i rejoice in him i am in him i am with him i walk towards him he becomes my everything it's a love affair with the divine it's the romance with the supreme so when god is my beloved i enjoy unlimited powers he gives me 
the divine experience because here i become unlimited otherwise i remain bound by this body gross body the moment i become an energy a soul automatically i am pulled by that supreme soul that supreme energy and the gross world is left behind that's why baba says what is the method of developing vairagya disinterest is not to, to create an hatred for the world but to become beloved of the father become loving to the father automatically creates detachment from the world so this is a novel method of becoming detached that you are pulled to that supreme magnet so firmly so strongly that you are pulled to the words world reduces so that's the stage of an easy vairagya where you are not doing anything to hate to develop dislike but naturally you are pulled by a vehement force the moment you feel you understand you realize yourself as an energy here now there are no efforts there are no even efforts for gaining knowledge it's not that uh, such a person will keep on reading the whole day will listening to gyan the whole day it's not by listening gyan that you become knowledgeable it's not by reading many things that you become knowledgeable but rather you let go let go of many things and soul becomes light and that lightness of the soul pulls the soul towards that ocean of knowledge and the knowledge descends from above it's not that you keep preparing for the lectures you keep preparing for something or other how how much you are going to prepare it's not about preparation it's about being lost because he is everything there's nothing that will not come to you when you are lost in him because he is perfection of everything so he is a point of light i become that point of light he is the supreme energy i become a point of energy and i stay in that awareness of being an energy so i don't even have to think or tell him that i belong to you you belong to me nothing the moment i increase my awareness my dependence on physical thing decreases and one of the best and the powerful weapon to do is is to get rid or is to reduce the requirement of physical food because food is the greatest and the most powerful bondage that binds the soul to the body if this is body soul this is body which is the greatest material bondage food when you realize that i am an energy so i don't require this food to sustain me much it's the energy which i need and you create an energy and there is already an energy everywhere so i take energy from air from breath i take energy from sun i take energy from ground i take energy from shiva baba his point of light i take energy from param dham i take energy from everywhere which is around me whatever is around me and i feel this energy is sustaining me because body is made up of what tissues tissues are made up this body is made up of organs liver kidney these organs are made up of what these organs are made up of tissues tissues are made up of what atoms atoms are made up of electrons electrons are made up of small small energy particles so it is a energy particle which is there so they are already made so now this laptop is already what is needed is current this laptop does not need gross material this laptop does not need uh, more material things material is already there so this body is already made it does not need further material it needs energy 
and that energy you decide from where it will come so when i say that i am deriving energy i feel energy the energy is coming to me so you enter from gross to the subtle level you are entering from annamai kosh to pranamai kosh bioplasmic body electric body subtle body today's vardhan baba said connection is there electric current will be there so when there is a current you throw off somebody is thrown off whenever you get a current shock so here also you feel as if you are an energy a current and shiva baba you are getting current from him so i am getting sustained my whole body is getting sustained by an invisible current by invisible force by invisible energy so that energy can come from anything when i take bath i am not drinking water but i feel the water i am deriving energy when i am walking the sun rays are upon me i am deriving energies from sun ray there was a lady who was fasting for a long time and every day she was traveling and her bus used to go from a bridge and there was a water below the bridge and what she used to imagine ki this water i am deriving energy from that water without even touching just seeing the water i am deriving energy just a thought and she said that sustained me for so many days so you have to shift the focus which is the source of energy energy is everywhere and the greatest source of energy is shiva baba so yoga means i am eating yoga means i am having my lunch dinner breakfast energy walking means energy so there is an energy which i am getting from the ground but walk barefoot remove this footwear for some time throughout the day so be near nature and you derive energy from nature so this process itself creates an awareness that i am not physical body but i am an energy and when energy i am automatically i am attracted to the supreme energy and this process of tapasya happens on its own so this is a process of relaxation celebration joy dance ecstasy it's not a stressful job so this is real tapasya om shanti om shanti what is the greatest tapasya the power of which can transform the world answer the belong to the one father and none o- none other is the greatest tapasya those who remain stable in such a stage are great tapasvis the tapas the power of tapasya is rem- remembered as the greatest power those who maintain the tapasya of belonging to the one father and none other have a lot of power the power of this tapasya transforms the world hat yogis do tapasya while standing on one leg however you children don't stand one don't stand on one leg but you maintain the awareness of one you belong to only one such tapasya will transform the world therefore become such world benefactors that is become great tapasvis avyakta murli 19 december 1983 om shanti